in Talon Ukbar Orbis Tertius, in the Garden of Forking Paths, part one of Fixiones, five years ago, the narrator and his friend were at a villa. Disturbed by a mirror at the end of the hallway, the friend says mirrors and copulation are abominable since they both multiply the numbers of man claiming this was a quote, from one of the heretics of Ukbar from the entry on Ukbar in the Anglo-American Cyclopedia. Finding no entry, the men soon go to the National Library where they search in vain for any testimony of Ukbar. Nothing. Two years later, the narrator recalls his father's friend, Herbert Ash. Days before he died, Ash had received a book the narrator now possesses called A First Encyclopedia of Talon, Volume 11, its first page stamped with the words Orvis Tertius. The narrator compares this discovery to his discovery of Ukbar in a volume of a pirated encyclopedia, a brief description of a false country. Volume 11 makes references to other volumes, which may or may not exist, in the encyclopedia of Talon. Talon's people are congenitally idealist. Their philosophy is that the human mind is the only real thing, or the most real thing of all. When perception of a thing stops, like when the lights go out, for example, the thing stops existing. Talon's philosophy offers a kind of amazement, not truth. Also, Talonians see all books as written by a single author. But Talon, it turns out, is the invention of a 17th century secret society, which became the work of generations, an entire made-up country, then planet. In 1914, the society delivered the final volume of the first encyclopedia of Talon. But the project will continue. The 40-volume first encyclopedia of Talon will be the basis of another work, Orbis Tertius. In 1942, the narrator is present when a crate from Europe is opened. In it is a compass with letters stamped on it in an imaginary language of Talon. Months later, the narrator witnesses a second intrusion of the fantastic world into the real one. A drunk curses and sings in the night, and in the morning, he's dead. A small but heavy metal cone has fallen from his belt. The narrator says, those small, very heavy cones are images of the divinity in certain regions of Talon. In 1944, someone found all 40 volumes of the Talon Encyclopedia in a library in Memphis. Some believe the discovery was guided by the directors of the still nebulous Orbis Tertius. The discovery of the encyclopedias led to a kind of Talon mania. Copies and commentaries on the encyclopedias proliferated. Reality became more like Talon, and this changes the world. Academic disciplines are reorganized. The narrator says, contact with Talon and the ways of Talon have disintegrated this world. In the end, the world will be Talon. In this story, the discovery of a fictitious planet changes everything on this real planet. Ultimately, Talon Ukbar Orbis Tertius shows its devotion to the superiority of the imposter by its emphasis on idealism. The nations of Earth will subside, but Talon will endure.